Hi guys, welcome back to Crypto Crazy. Um, in today's video, I thought I'd talk a little bit about um, maximizing resale value of the cards you no longer want to use for mining. So come back after this. So today we're gonna to look at the legendary GTX 1080 Ti. Um, it's the Asus ROG Strix um, one, of course. So what we're gonna look at is this problem, which I think is quite common. You might have heard of it before. If you can see in this case here, it looks very shiny, except the LEDs aren't going all the way and lighting up. So it's making no, it's running perfectly, making no difference to it whatsoever. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that out and we're gonna fix that problem, which is a real simple fix. So whether you wanna use that in a gaming machine like we've done here, or whether you wish to um, sell it and maximize the resale value, um, uh, you're gonna to wanna to fix that. Okay, so there's the card out. And simply what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this top area here, not the fans. We're just gonna undo the screws at the back there and the ones underneath. And so we are not gonna affect the the warranty uh, void screw there at the back. Not gonna affect that at all. Of course, this is way out of warranty, but for resale value, value people like to see that this hasn't been tampered with, right? So you wanna include the box, you want it all to be working, and um, so the person can have that, that unboxing experience, even though it's a pre-used card. Okay, so let's get the top off and have a look. Right, now we have that off, and as you can see, I've already loosened this one. Um, they come off really easy. They just clip in there, so don't go forcing anything. There's nothing it needs to be forced. If you're forcing it, you're doing it wrong. You're gonna break it. It just, very carefully, you can just, I use just a, a, the flat end of the screwdriver just to prise, just to prise out from one, so I could grab hold of the end, and then it just came out simple as. So um, I'm gonna take the other one out, and then I'm going to show you the difference between um, what's happened to this optic cable compared to the replacement. Okay, so what you can see here is you can see the difference between the old one and the new one. So this is the old one. So what's happened to it is while it's been mining, it's got really hot and it's discolored the tube so that light can't pass through it. And it's also quite rigid. It's gone rigid now where this fresh piece here is is nice and flexible as you can see so um you can go online i'll share a link down in, in the comments uh in in the details section there to where you can get this from i've bought a two meter strip because i've got another card to do exactly the same with um so i bought enough to cover it so i'm gonna put this one in and i'll take the other one out do the same and then once i've got uh, these in place we'll put the card back together stick it back in the pc and see what we've got here we go, moment of truth. Hit the power switch. Let's see what happens. Oh yes, look at that. Straight away, no hesitation whatsoever. It lights all the way. It looks brand spanking new, doesn't it? Uh, it was about f uh, for, to do uh, four pounds. will get you enough of that four millimeter side glowing fiber cable. Or you'll find on e eBay. Um, and that'll get you enough for one card. I bought two meters for 7.99. So there we go, one happy customer with a great looking gaming rig. So there we are, I hope that was helpful. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.